Hey buddies, I want to give you an update, something that I have been working on since we haven't been doing many shows. Work continues behind the scenes to move the show into what I'm going to call a new era. And there's going to be more on that as we, uh, well, there will be more on that. But I wanted to show you something I've been working on all week, probably if you include research time, a couple weeks. I just built a gaming PC. And this is something I've been wanting to do for a while because of virtual reality and uh, it's been a plan on the show to do VR for a while. We have an Oculus. I wasn't impressed with my GTX 680 and its capabilities and stuff. The stuff. I still wish that I had actually kind of demoed, um, uh, you know, simple applications with it, but, um, you know, whatever. Fuck it. Uh, I want to move into VR in the coming year and a big part of that is going to be this new gaming PC build and I'm gonna show it to you now um, I guess what really matters is inside which isn't right here but what you're looking at is a fractal um, R4 case which I chose because it's silent uh, and silence is kind of an issue on the show even though we run an air conditioner that's really loud in the studio so it doesn't really matter um, but that was the main reason for the decision it's an ATX case mid tower I guess and um, you might be surprised to know that I actually used to build PCs. I, I built a few in my day. I used to have a friend who's, uh, who built them all the time and uh, we would work on them at, our, at his house. Um, it was kind of like riding a bike, but I was still rusty. It was hard. Um, and there's new standards and stuff, and I haven't done this in a good decade. So, uh, But I went for simple, and you're going to see what's inside here. I'm just going to open it right up, guys. And I know there's going to be like the, you know... The PC building nerds out there are going to be really interested to see what I have inside. And I guess you're going to be wanting to... Oh my god, the fucking... Oh, I should have had this undone before I started the vlog. Um, and uh, you're going to be really looking for my cable runs, right? <clears throat> Alright. Here we go. There. Alright. The inside. Alright, so... First of all, let's just move right in on the star of the show. That's a GTX 680, or a 980, <laughs> fucking, I used to have a 680 in my Mac Pro, um, which I repurposed as a, as a gaming PC, and that I've been using for any PC games on the show to this point, but that inside there is a 980 Ti that blows it out of the water. And to show that to you right from the get-go, uh, Crisis 3, in 60 frames per second on ultra settings um, without an issue. In fact, that's in 1080p. In fact, the GTX 980 um, Ti comes with the ability to uh, change the resolution to a resolution that you don't even have as a monitor. And if I go on here, here I'll show you guys. I thought this was a neat feature and the main reason that it's necessary here. That's, uh, there we go, 4K. And then I'll just, oops. So you can actually run games in 4K even when you don't have a 4K monitor. Um, and there's a, a, a good reason for that is that uh, it's probably the best form of anti-aliasing you'll ever get um, when gaming because what it's doing is rendering it at super high resolution. All those polys are high and then it scales it down and it in interpolates the pixels on its way down and um, unfortunately, so if you turn off anti-aliasing inside the game it'll run at 60 frames per second um, when running in 4K, but if you crank up the aliasing it starts to slow down. What I'm talking about right now is what I've been doing for the last two weeks, is testing every friggin little thing in this um, to see what kind of power I can get out of it. Uh, speaking of power, um, so inside here, I guess you can't tell, and I know that some of you have probably already scoffed at the fact that um, I'm using the stock fan uh, that came with the processor. That's a 4970D, uh, it's the Devil's Canyon chip. What is it? It's this one. The 4790K um, inside. It's, uh, I, you know, I know that you don't need a top of the line processor for a gaming build, um, and the main reason I got this is that I wanted to test this. It's been a while since I've had um, taken a run at a PC build, and I wanted to have something as powerful as possible 
for the purpose of testing it for one other reason, and that's gonna be uh, the, my last point, but I wanna show you what else I got in here first. Um, over here, you can tell I didn't plan this tour. That's a Seasonic PSU, um, and I've got it running so that, uh, uh, I guess, upside down or right side up, I guess it's right side up, but it's um, ventilating out the bottom. And the motherboard, which is also an important component, I suppose, is an ultra durable, uh, it's the, here, I'll show you the box. <clears throat> The 790, the 797XUD7TH, and that's the key why I chose this one right there, Thunderbolt, which I'm used to on Macs. Uh, a bunch of the capture cards in the studio are Thunderbolt. A bunch of my best hard drives in the studio are Thunderbolt, and it's a standard that you don't find often in the PC world. But um, I guess that brings me to my next point. The other reason I chose this motherboard. Uh, it's recommended for building Hackintoshes with, and this computer happens to be a Hackintosh. And that's why it took me <laughs> a couple, like, you know, a week to get this thing ready, is I've uh, set it up as a Hackintosh, done all my testing in it. Um, here, I'll even prove it right now. I'll just get out of crisis. Oops. And I'll boot it up. Uh, so, the key to um, do it, it's a multi-boot, so, I, like, I have Windows 10 running, um, which is a, a pretty slick and quick version of Windows, I have to say. It's better than any that I've used to this point. Um, I like how no-nonsense it is. From what I've seen so far, it seems like it's not no-nonsense. So you just boot up here, head into the, as soon as it restarts. And you'll see the loading. You just press uh, F12 and then you jump into a different hard drive. And then the good people at, uh, why isn't it focusing? Well, that was the logo for the, the uh, Tony Mac forums, which give you a lot of good how-tos of how to boot up or get your, your Mac working. And there you go, OS X. So, um, and uh, in my testing, it's been, <laughs> like I've, Nulani, one of our mods that you guys may be familiar with, has been trying to convince me to try a, a Hackintosh build for a while, especially right before I bought that Mac Pro that I showed off on the uh, one of these vlogs. Um, and the reason I've been putting it off is I basically, I couldn't, I, I didn't feel like I could afford it if it didn't work. Like, to put all that money, I didn't need a gaming PC yet, and um, and I knew that I could save money by building a Hackintosh, but... If it didn't work, I would have a gaming PC that I didn't necessarily need or af could afford, and I wasn't, I wouldn't have the, the, you know, I knew that the Mac would work for the setup we do on the show, so that's the reason. But anyways, I've set this up as a Hackintosh. It's more powerful than the current Mac Pro that I have, even if it may not look like a trash can, which is super cool. Um, I I'm now going to be testing this as a potential replacement for a broadcast machine, in which time... If all go went well, I would, uh, you know, probably sell the, the trash can Mac Pro and build another one of these, because I'd be saving money. Plus, I'd have a more versatile machine that I can like switch out components and, um, you know, have the power in my hands. Uh, I guess the last element here. Oh, you might be interested in the RAM that I put in there, which is um, a pair of ballistics. That's 16, just 16 gigs. I don't need more than that. Um, the least, you know crazy looking RAM I could find. I don't know why RAM these days has to have like, uh, f whoa, <laughs> speed fins on them and fucking like blades, like you're gonna cut yourself on them. Some of them are designed like serrated swords. Uh, oh, and then finally, down here, um, I got two SSDs, 500 gigabyte SSDs down there. Uh, one running Windows, one running OS X, and then this uh, drive, which I haven't actually implemented yet, is just going to be a backup drive that, um, I mean, on the Mac side, I'll be able to dynamically, with Time Machine, just back up right to it, um, which makes versions of your, uh, and that's like a four terabyte drive, so it's slow, but a backup drive doesn't need to be fast. Um, anyways, uh, so... The idea behind, uh, I guess that is, I've already described that. So, this is what I've done, sorry, it's been a while since I've been on camera, you can tell. Um, 
so uh, this is to prove that I'm doing something with that turbo cash, not just swimming in it. I'm buying myself toys with it so, <laughs> and paying the boys with it. Uh, but uh, the uh, oh yeah, the last uh, the other note on the GTX, fast as goddamn and fast at doing things that I didn't even think of, including encoding video for streaming. So potentially I'll also be building a PC and replacing my entire setup with PCs that I've built uh, that can stream because of the new technologies like NV and ENC, the NVIDIA codec that, or encoder that um, hard drive hardware based encoder, which I can do three streams at 1080p and 60 frames per second from this machine. Uh, why I might need to do that? Well, that's the last actual component to what I'm able to do with this now, and that is streaming multiple angles to YouTube of full screen gameplay, which I've wanted to do for a very long time, at the same time as the regular show that you see of us, and you'll be able to switch between, choose one or the other. YouTube has that feature, in addition to streaming to Twitch. So three streams going out from our, our uh, studio at once, and that's been another plan that I've always wanted to move towards along with 60 frames per second um, in 1080p and good quality. Uh, and then, so two streams will be running off the GTX, uh, and then one stream will be running off the uh, onboard HD accelerated encoding on the graphics, or on the, on the uh, Intel, um, Intel HD 4600 graphics, which is also speedy and a little bit higher quality than the NVIDIA encoder. So um, that's the plan with that. What'd you think of my cable run? I think I, I kept it pretty clean. The ugliest part is probably the power going into the graphics card, but everything else is pretty decent. This case was able to, oh, I could poke that back in there a bit. There we go. Um, oh, there's a CD drive too, uh, or a DVD drive. <laughs> Um, this case is really good for good cable runs. It has another panel on the other side that exclusively keeps all the cables like behind it. So they're accessible, but they're hidden. Uh, so I need to, I want to say thank you to Nulani who helped me with this and she's been helping me for a long time since I've been humming and hawing about building a PC for a good couple of years. It's just never had the urgency or the cash to really build what I wanted. And now because of Patreon, I do. So thank you guys. And also thank uh, Nulani for, um, uh, she helped me get back up to speed with all the PC crap that I used to know before I switched to Mac. Um, but I'm still going to be using Mac, you can, uh, Apple computers, in fact, I've spent all my time pretty much on the OS X side. Um, oh, one other cool thing I wanted to show you guys, here, uh, I need to, here, I thought this was neat, about this case. And I know that's kind of silly for like to care about the case part, but this this is another um, set of hard drive bays here, and it's optional. It didn't come like this. Like if you wanted, you could load whoa one, two, three, four, five hard drive bays into the or hard drives into there, or. Um, you can take it out all together, uh, but they said like you could put it in like this and then you're able to run hard drives on there, right? Um, you could load up a ton and have a big storage or uh, uh, storage um, solution, but the the they say to turn it this way so that you get better airflow because I have another there's another fan in the front for intake and a big one on the back for outtake or output <laughs> so um so I turned it around because it directs all the airflow towards the graphics card. I just thought that was a kind of a neat little, you know, optional thing that they included. Anywho, thanks for uh, watching this, guys. And um, I'm going to try to do set up and get a stream started with this, probably a Hearthstone show with multiple angles for our first uh, try at that. Uh, I hope it goes well. Um, and then in the future, we'll be, you know, pl playing, ironically, on this gaming PC, we won't be playing a game on it. I'll be just streaming with it. In the future, I'll be streaming games, but uh, for now, just going to be testing it out as a streaming computer so that I can potentially buy uh, another one. Um, all right, thanks for watching, guys.